Last up is the forced coordinate system. Now the forced coordinate system command was designed to make changes in an existing coordinate system based off nominal values, not measured features. That's important. So for example, after creating a local coordinate system, the user may wish to translate or rotate the coordinate system further uh, based on nominal amounts. So after executing the command, the user may simply enter nominal rotations or translation values after hitting enter. Or he can make picks in space or on the CAD or even pick on measurements. But it is important to remember that the coordinate system is moved based on the location and orientation of those picks. And the, if you use a feature for those picks, it, that feature in no way contributes to the values of the rotations and translations. Now let's go and take a look and see how the forced coordinate system can be applied. We are going to do a few examples of creating a forced coordinate system. Again, the premise is that we are making changes to an existing coordinate system. In this case, we've created a local coordinate system putting 000 at the center of the large hole. If we execute the forced coordinate system command and make no picks, we are prompted to enter the translation or rotation values. So let's say we wanted to translate the coordinate system to the center of the small hole just below the large datum B hole but we don't know the actual translation values. Well, we can simply create a measurement in that hole and then pick that feature from the programming browser after executing the forced coordinate system command. Let's double click on this new forced coordinate system and take a look at it. An important thing to observe is that there is no mention anywhere of the circle that we use to get the translation values into these fields. That's because, as I said earlier, this command is based on pick locations or nominals and has no connection at all with any measurement features. So that circle measurement was just created to assist us in creating the exact spot to place the force coordinate system. Now that the force coordinate system has been created, we no longer need that circle measurement and we can delete it. Let's create another force coordinate system and do a rotation about Z of 45 degrees. So now we have two forced coordinate systems. The first one that did a translation in X and Y, and now the second one that we've just created that's doing a rotation of 45 degrees about Z. So there is one thing that is very important to understand. Although we had two forced coordinate systems, each with their own translations and or rotations, they are connected. What I mean is, if we deleted that first forced coordinate system, its information is automatically embedded into the next one. So let's delete the first one. You can see that the translations and rotations are now stored in the remaining forced coordinate system. So what does this mean? Well, if you create more than one forced coordinate system, and make a mistake in any of them other than the last one, then you will have to edit them from the programming browser or delete them all and make new ones. We can also create a forced coordinate system by using more than one pick. In this case, we will use three picks from three circle measurements that we created in the programming browser. So we execute the checkmate forced coordinate system command and then picking the circle measurements 
The first pick represents a pick out the positive x-axis. The second pick, or circle measurement, represents the origin of the forced coordinate system. And the third pick, or circle, represents a pick out the positive y-axis of the coordinate system. As I stated earlier, those circle measurements were created just to assist us in creating the exact spots to place the forced coordinate system. Now that it's been created, we no longer need those circle measurements and can delete them. Checkmate also supports creating a forced coordinate system from a SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. Simply execute the Checkmate forced coordinate system command and pick the SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. Thanks for watching and have a great day.